cut with my twin, we be vibing. Let's go, let's go get some money. How many followers you got? I got customers and followers. Next, what is you saying? You using followers? What about your followers? Are you getting paid for them followers? You stupid. A few moments later. Hey y'all, I'm at work. So this video is gonna be about Mr. Junior or JR Wisdom, whoever you are. I see that you tend to make a lot of videos and get your clout off of women. For one, when I said the nail shop and the hair shop, I was speaking on cosmetology world, something you don't know because you're a man. So you assumed that I was talking about black people, right? I said followers. I said I had an issue with customers coming in thinking that their followers was going to move something. Am I correct? You're making it about race. And then you go um, troll my social media, pull up videos, talking about, oh, she got six kids, she's a single mom. No, sir. I have two kids. The other four you see, that's why you don't take information from little video clips and shit that you see on social media and assume. But I see, from what I see, that you get a lot of clout off of women. You like to you like to make women the mockery of your page. And the crazy thing is I'm getting chills saying this. I'm getting chills saying this. And and you you want to make it about black people that I that I'm talking about black people or it's about a race thing. No, sir, it's not about a race thing. I already said that from the beginning. For one. And for two, how can you, sir? Talk about, say that I'm offending or making mockery of the black community when you yourself are the reason why black women are hurting. You yourself make a mockery of black women on your page. If you go on your page, that 180 something thousand subscribers you got, every one of your videos, you're making a joke about women. So this is not about a race thing, sir. Clearly, it's about you have mommy issues. And it's a women thing for you. But I'm not going to entertain you. Because anybody that knows me know. I'm Pierce Gold. I love anybody. I love everybody. So, before you judge off of my social media, Mr. JR Wisdom, you don't have none. You can take that off your name. You don't have no wisdom. You don't have none. Because while you're talking about me trying to assume and accuse me of being racist, you need to talk about yourself, how you degrade women on your page. Let's talk about that, Mr. JR Wisdom. You're JR ignorant. Let's talk about it. You scroll on that man page and all you see is him degrading women. All you see is him making eight, ten minute videos of you bashing and talking about women. Go make your money another way instead of bashing us. You making money off us. You making cloud off a woman. You a fucking dick rider. Shut the fuck up. Well, that was pretty entertaining. Y'all see her black scent kind of came out at the end, towards the end of the video, but most of the video she didn't try to do too much on the ghetto side, folks. But hey, baby, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. I don't think I really said anything negative about you. The fact of the matter is you were using your black scent in the video and you were referring to a black woman. White women don't go to hair stores, for one. Let's get that straight. You said hair stores, cosmetology. You specifically said girl 
Fuck you. Yeah, so you were talking about a black woman. Now, you eating your noodles and all that, baby. You said on the video it said six kids. So I'm assuming you had six kids. They were all following you walking out. So unless you're lying on social media. But clout chasing, I usually don't do response videos, but I just thought that this was interesting. The only reason why I responded because, and I hate to say this, this lady, I don't want to say receipts. The lady who in question in this video actually messaged me. She reached out to me on TikTok and said, when I'm going to put the screenshots up here for you guys to see about Miss China Tran here. And she's yet to respond to these comments. The situation in particular that she was talking about this black woman. So let's get into that and see exactly what she was saying about this black woman. And in these nail shops... I talk about because racism is stupid in itself. Bigotry is stupid in itself. This is America. People come here for a reason. Black people are the laughing stock of this country, even though this country wouldn't be what it is without black folks. And you becoming popular because you're just an Asian with a black scent at the end of the day. But let's get into some of these screenshots or as y'all say receipts from the interaction that caused her to make the video. And I'll link the video for those of you who haven't seen that I posted, but let's get into these. So you guys see on the screen here, she says, I saw your video on China, Asian girl who works at the Lash and Nail Bar here in Lithonia, Georgia. She decided to make the video after her and I had words. Weed, a nail tech, begged me to write a review and post on my socials. When it came time to take the pictures of my nails, she comes over and inserted herself. What she failed to say was she called my hands crusty. So I proceeded to tell her to get out of my face, smelling like dead fish and toe jam. She totally miss. I'm assuming she said she totally misappropriates the culture. It's like horrible acting. Thanks for putting this chick on blast, which that wasn't the intent. It was just, you guys can see it's, it's an act, but let's go. So this is basically in response to her saying, basically, I want to hear a story and I still do want to hear the interaction on what happened. She says, oh, definitely. Whatever you need, just let me know. I wrote a Google review. I've been going there for over eight years. No problems. This chick just started working there. From my understanding, she moved from Columbia, South Carolina, which is, y'all know I'm in South Carolina. She just started working there and had the nerve to call my hands crusty. Nobody even sent for her. She came over to where me and weed was at and offered to take the picture so I could post with my review. So when she came over there, I said, what is that smell? It smelled like dead fish and toe jam. Mm. Somehow it's okay for her to disrespect me. But when I tell her what she smelled like, it's a problem. I really didn't take offense to it because I know who I am. But I got so many family members that go there, I guess in her mind. She thinks that it's okay to talk to other black women like that she does not does not know me like that she does not know me. Shout out to that sister there, Ja Marie. So my channel is a mixture of things. My channel is basically a journey into psychology and the thought process of people, their outlooks, and I give commentary on it. A lot of it tends to be black folks, but I do comment on white folks as well. I comment on Hispanic and Asian folks. So you're not excluded from that baby especially the fact that you're an asian that acts like the worst of black women and you see a lot of women a lot of the popular people of other races they latch on to black culture the worst parts of black culture and they try to emulate it's a caricature at the end of the day and they become famous and they get a bag off of it from hairstyles to rapping all these things like that like dame dash say you can't make it in your own culture a lot of times so you want to stand out i even brought up the instance and i know you guys probably gonna say it about my ex-wife when, when we moved here, she was just like, oh, everybody's like all into me. Everybody's da, 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 da. She just lost her mind and felt that she could just take advantage of it. And that's just the thought process, because if you go back to where you're from or your culture, you're just a regular person. You don't stand out. And I'm just being honest, man. But anyway, she destroyed me on that video there. She proved that I'm a dude that has mommy issues, even though I, baby, I really didn't say anything. And it's proven here with these receipts that you were talking about a black woman because she said you did the video right after that happened. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, though. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings in abundance. Stick around for the next videos that are going to pop up on the screen below. Listen, I'm the best. Let's run it up to 200,000. Quit playing with me. Peace.